Hey my loves, we have a situation here where someone ran away from your connection and they are ready to stop running, honey, and show you how much you truly mean to them. They feel lost without you. They miss you like crazy. This could be someone that ghosted you, blocked you, cut off the connection out of the blue. Um, they do want to reconcile and there's they know that this is a spiritual union and you guys have some sort of soul contract that you came into each other's lives for a reason here. And what they're going to do next is uh, really, really big and it's a way for them to show you how much they love you, okay? Now, this could be a Taurus, Libra, Pisces, Virgo, Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising, PGS, XAB, HLJ, T-R-N, first metal, last initial, could be you or them. Let's find out why did they disappear, what were they doing, what they want to tell you, and what's happening next. You don't want to miss this. All right, my loves. For those that don't know me, I'm Lily. Thank you so much for watching and joining and my returning tribe. I love you guys so much. Let's dive into this. All right, sweetheart. So the overall energy is somebody that ran from this connection, okay? Um, let's find out why. And they're going to do something that's uh, going to show you proof that they do love you. This says, I don't want to run anymore, okay? Somebody's name uh, could begin with R, first, middle, last, initial. Um, R's coming in pretty strong. We have it here. A couple times wow we have judgment at the bottom of the deck okay so this person could be going through a huge awakening in their life they could have um, um I just heard conversation with God so maybe they found God or uh, something came to them in a dream perhaps spirit let's talk about this runner tell me give me some information about this runner um who ghosted blocked or cut off this connection with my collective please tell me more about this runner please oop okay okay well the three of pentacles came out this is someone that could have been fearful of commitment this is someone that could have had a third party. Um, maybe they were committed somewhere else. And that's why they ran from this connection. I'm getting this feeling like there's such a strong tie, magnetic pull between you and this person. And it's, you know, the song Lost Without You is coming through. Um, and that's come through before. Uh... Robin Thicke, <laughs> I was going to say Alan Thicke's son, okay, so Robin Thicke um, sings that you might want to listen to the lyrics and see if you can get any additional messages there, um, but yeah, I feel like maybe somebody could have been building with somebody else, um, is strongly the hit that I'm getting, okay, tell me about this, tell me about this three of pentacles for the runner, Tell me about the three of pentacles for the runner. Now, this person also, if their third party is person, place, or thing, okay, confirmation. Normally, it's a person, but they could have been really working on building their business if they own their own business, their career, the pentacles. Um, there's something tied to their finances where they weren't stable on their own. They may struggle with codependency and get into situations where even if this is the masculine energy where they have the other person take care of them in a way. Yeah. Um, and they could have been in a situation with somebody else where they couldn't leave that connection because they felt like this, okay? This is how they're feeling um because of money okay all right so tell me about this three of pentacles for the runner tell me more about this three of pentacles why they ran tell me more about the runner five of cups oh sorry guys i have a piece of hair in my lip gloss <laughs> that's disgusting <laughs> it's 
my little kitty. Five of Cups, okay. Which is very, very interesting because we have the three cups spilled, okay? And there you are, the two of cups that they didn't even look at, okay? So their situation that they were building, person, place, or thing, didn't work out for them, okay? Really feels like a person. But that situation, it wasn't what they expected, okay? And they're really missing you. This is someone that, um, we've got three, three here. That's a master number, you might wanna look up that. Um, but three, three equals six, and that's really about balance and harmony, and everything is spilled over here almost. So it's kinda like this person has this very unstable um, energy about them, and they may go from connection to connection, and they just can't find their fit, and they keep coming back to you, this energy of, I, I, I feel like a part of me is missing without you, is how they feel, okay? And they're drawn to some sort of photo of you or if they have access to your social media, they look at you a lot, okay? They, this is someone that reminisces. This is someone that lives in the past. And a sign of who that could be would be, um, someone that always talks about their past okay it's like they always bring it up on like a broken record right okay so they want to make an offer and this could be taking a very very long time <laughs> towards virgo capricorn energy here okay so um there they were dealing with this situation and perhaps they were engaged um because this is a ring okay they could have been engaged or married to somebody else perhaps um, but this home situation person situation didn't work out okay and so now this is why they're thinking about the strongest soulmate connection they have and that's you collective okay so let's talk about this blocked cut off um, ghosted energy why did this person ghost the collective spirit? And they, we kind of got into that with the runner, but tell me more about this. Why did they just cut off this connection with the collective? Something about a fear, six of cups. The devil, there's the fear. And literally I said that before I saw this, okay? There's something tied to fear about commitment, I feel like. Okay, and this person has a very dark, dark shadow side, Capricorn energy uh, with the Six of Cups. They could have been hiding um, some sort of dark secret from their childhood. This person could also um, struggle with abandonment or fear of rejection. Um, they all, this may sound bizarre, but they also have this fear of losing you, even though they pushed you away or abandoned the connection. Because this, it's almost like when we saw the awakening card, it's almost like they are awakened to past life memories with the six of cups of you and their connection. And I'm just hearing, I rem oh, this could make, okay. I'm gonna hold it together. Um. I remember who you are, okay? And maybe this is something you said to them or to yourself, like, why doesn't this person remember me? Because it's almost like you remember your soul connection, your past lives, not necessarily the life in general that you had, but just the energy of, I've known you for lifetimes. Why the heck don't you remember me? And it's like, they remember now. And it's, they're so fearful and, they could be so fearful of losing this connection again, meaning they remember past lives where they didn't get it right, okay? They have to overcome this devilish energy. This person could struggle with addictions big time. And remember how I mentioned codependency? They, they depend on others. 
they gravitate towards people that take care of them. Maybe it's like the empath narcissist dynamic. Not saying that this person is a narcissist. We all have narcissistic tendencies, but there's this fear. And there could also be a situation where children might have gotten involved or they were dealing with the mother or father of their children here. Okay. So tell me, yes, some of you guys, they may have gotten somebody pregnant or got pregnant by somebody else and that's why they disappeared. There's a few different storylines. Not everyone's dealing with the same thing and here we are. Left you for dead, 10 of swords, they betrayed you, they abandoned you, they, like I said, left you for dead. Didn't care about how you felt in the situation. And it's interesting because what they thought they were going towards was the 10 of cups. They, this might even be their energy as well. Take what resonates for you guys, but some of them could have been married and children were involved and they didn't want to break up the home. If they weren't married, perhaps they lived with someone that they had a child with. Um, but we've got truth and clarity. This person's now getting the clarity that they need and they want to have a conversation with you, okay? Yeah, King of Swords. They're now in this King of Swords energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Arising. And they they are, they could have been um, someone that used their head over their heart, okay? And um, the will of fortune, things are gonna be changing, turning in your favor here. This person could be in a situation, if you haven't talked to them, dealing with some strong karma, uh, for betraying you, hurting you, possibly hurting a lot of people here. Yeah, they're watching you. They're keeping tabs on you. They could be driving by your home, perhaps. Um, um, yes, love to see strength. Okay, so strength is the only card that can overcome the devil here. Okay, so this person could be doing some deep healing, wounding work from childhood and um, tackling the beast, the devil, with inside of them. Okay. Yeah, so they can have the Ten of Pentacles with you. Virgo energy here. Leo energy. Yep. Okay, let's keep going. So tell me about this devil energy that they were in. Tell me about this. Tell me more about the devil energy that made them abandon this connection. Look at this. The star. They could have healed, went towards someone. Yeah, they could have healed try to heal a connection with someone they have kids with, okay? Um, if this person doesn't have kids, this person could be uh, abandon this connection to heal their addictions, okay? But there is a third party, so whatever it is. Um, so two major arcana, the devil, um, I'm clarifying that, and the star is here. So Aquarius energy, uh, balancing things out, to get some sort of wish fulfillment here. Tell me about this past energy, the Six of Cups, for why they abandoned this uh, situation for my collective, please, Spirit. Tell me about the Six of Cups here and why they abandoned this connection. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Two of Pentacles. They were juggling. Mm-hmm. They went towards someone from their past, okay? They tried to heal a connection there and realized it was just toxic, okay? This is why they want to come back around. That that thing just didn't work out. They could have gone towards a water sign. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, perhaps. Yeah, and there isn't this communication happening, but let's talk about they're missing you. They want to come back together. They want to reconcile. Uh, they know that this is a spiritual union and you guys have a soul contract that hasn't been completed here. So there is this energy of unfinished business. Uh, mending the connection after breaking your heart here. This is a heart that's completely broken in half. Um, there could be something significant with this fall or past fall situations with you and this person. Okay, tell me about this wanting to heal the connection with the collective. The person that disappeared, the runner. Oh, this nose confirmation. Sorry, guys. I'm not picking my nose. <laughs> tell me about this. Tell me about wanting to heal the connection with the collective. 
Tell me about this. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. They want to balance the scales because they were breadcrumbing in the past. They were giving to multiple people. It just really is that situation, okay? So they could have, um, like I said, financially been giving too much to others. They say they have children. See, they have multiple children with multiple people. They, they were spread way too thin, okay? So now with the Libra scales here, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra with the scales, they want to balance the situation out with you and give to you like you deserve, okay? And they're going to prove it. So tell me more about why they want to come together with the collective. Tell me more about this, please. Oops, they didn't flip over. Tell me more about wanting to come together and heal the connection. Two, two, two could be significant. <laughs> uh, oh man, it took out all the initials. You guys know, you saw the initials, right? Okay. Um, so tell me about this, please. Tell me about healing the connection, them wanting to heal the connection. Yeah, see, they hurt you though. I don't know if they can recover this. And they may feel like the damage that they caused was too too strong, right? Um, but they're certainly going to try. They're certainly going to try. Now, this person could have also got their karma member that they reaped, Libra energy. They could also be recovering from their own betrayal that they put themselves through or someone else put them through. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Tower. Scorpionic energy. Aries energy. Yeah, their world completely crumbled and fell apart. So whatever they were focused on besides you, it, it didn't work out for them, okay? Whatever they built up was built on a faulty foundation. The tower always reminds me of a sandcastle sandcastles in the sky it's like this vision of grandeur and but it's built on sand right not cement <laughs> so the tide comes in and washes it all apart yeah so it sucks that they caused so much damage and ghosted you disappeared whatever your situation but this was a lesson you couldn't teach them, okay? They had to learn some sort of soul lesson through somebody else or a different situation, okay? And we all have soul contracts with multiple people here, okay? Um, you guys could even be twin flames, I'm getting. And so you loving them as much as you do they, they just couldn't learn the lesson from you, right? And how could they? Because you, you would never hurt them like somebody hurt them, okay? So how they treated you, they got that right back in return. I said that and it just came out in the cards. Yeah, see, it's so funny. Archangel Michael's here with temperance, Sagittarius energy. Archangel Michael is in charge of the twin flame dynamic, okay? And I just mentioned you guys could be twin flames. This person is going through it, okay? They're, they're feeling a huge, huge loss, okay? And they are regretting everything they did to you. So they're going to make some sort of uh, offer here to you. It's going to be on the table. They may ask you to meet them out at a cafe. Getting like a really cute cafe energy, maybe French or Italian. And um, this says offer proposal commitment is on the table, okay? They may not initially do that because that would be weird. Uh, <laughs> but this is ultimately what they want with you collective, okay? I want to be a part. I want you to be a part of my future here. I can't stand this white font. It's so hard to read. So let's talk about this. This is future energy between you and this person. Tell me about this offer that they want to make the collective here, please, Spirit. Tell me about this offer that they want to make the collective. Sorry, here my main coon. <laughs> he is so cute. Uh, tell me he just wants to be known. He misses his mommy. <laughs> like this person misses you. Okay. Yeah, six of wands. Victory and success. They want to there could be something about you guys that 
you get a lot of attention, you have a lot of well-wishers, you could have some sort of platform that they watch you on. Um, but they want, this is what I'm getting is, they have you on some sort of pedestal and they want to announce to the world, like putting it on the table is telling the world, this is my person and I am not gonna let them go again, okay? Like they're gonna make it really well known to others. And this could have been a connection where not a lot of people knew about you two. Tell me more about this commitment on the table here. <laughs> they said, look at the bottom of the deck. I almost started shuffling, you saw that. The higher fun. This is the higher level of commitment, Taurus energy here, okay? Yes. <laughs> and I love this little guru here, he's like, okay? Okay, it's coming. It's for sure coming. They ultimately want to marry you and take you off the table. <laughs> right? So no one else can have you here, okay? Yeah, they want to invest and fully invest this time. And, you know, put in the work, okay, my loves? Yeah, here comes the offer. This, this is the commitment. This is the proposal eventually. Or if this is the female, they, they want you to propose, okay? They want this new beginning in love with you. Yeah, here comes the uh, bended knee, right? And lastly, king of pentacles. They, they've bossed up. They've leveled up. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Energy becoming more stable, grounded, whole on their own, right? Not... The, ridding themselves of codependency here, okay? They don't have to be an ursan, um, but this is the energy. Wanting to be generous, uh, like giving, okay? This person could have been quite selfish in the past. Let's get some messages from them. What does this person wanna tell my collective? Ooh, look at this. I'm not the same person. So this person has done some sort of work here, you guys. It feels like it's been some time. If it hasn't been some time, they, they, uh, I don't know that this is your story. Okay. So let's, let's keep going here. What does this person want to tell my collective spirit? Tell me what the, this person wants to tell the collective. I just said that twice. So I don't know why. <laughs> tell me what this person, what this person wants to say to my collective. Karmic connection, moving from the patterns. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, spirit. This person was in very karmic behavior. Okay. Their, their addictions with this devil energy was ruling, was winning. Okay. So they got involved in a lot of karmic connections and it was the same pattern over and over and over. Okay. So they're moving past those um, patterns that they have. They've had their whole entire life, okay? Tell me more. Tell me more about what they want to tell the collective, please, Spirit. What else do they want to say to my collective? I hope the future will bring us together. Yeah, they haven't lost hope, okay? Maybe you have, <laughs> but they certainly haven't. They're hoping and praying you haven't, okay? Because they do want this future with you. They ultimately want to offer it all. They don't want to lose you again <laughs> at all. Okay, so tell me more about what they want to tell my collective, please, Spirit. I will take action soon. Please believe in me, okay? So they want to win your trust back. What they tell you with that Ace of Swords we saw is the truth. They've gotten the clarity they need and they will contact you soon and they want you to believe them. Believe in me. They want you to believe in them, okay? And I just heard, like, you were the person, you guys, that saw the potential in this person, okay? They may have never had someone like you ever see potential like this ever before. Um, and it's almost like they don't want to let you down. They can be, they're going to prove to you that they can be the person you always saw the potential in them, it's like your hope kept them going. Oh, tell me more. Tell me more about what this person wants to tell my collective, please, Spirit. I never want to see. Uh, I never want to see you again. You hurt me. 
<laughs> this definitely could be you. I just saw like a wild message come out and I just had a feeling it would come out, not this message, but you might, yeah, a lot of you, they hurt tennis horse. They hurt you so bad. Now, some of you, they're telling their karmic this, okay? Karmic just means someone that came into their life to teach them a lesson. Um, but take it how it resonates for you. That they want to see you, so that has nothing to do with you. Um, but you, because they left you for dead, could say, I never want to see you again. Maybe that's your last conversation, okay? It will destroy them, for sure. But um, some of you, this is what they told someone else. Tell me what else they want to tell my collective, please, Spirit. Messages for the collective. Oh, two. Oh, two came out. I was like, I never read this, and it landed right there. I fear you will never forgive me. Mm -hmm. And that's falling right under. It just fell right under. Uh, I never want to see you again. You hurt me, okay? And they are definitely fearing. They would understand, but they would be devastated, okay? And lastly, it says, please give me a second chance. That came out as well. Hmm, should we get any more? Let's get a couple more, Spirit. A couple more messages for the collective. I know I was wrong by not talking to you. Would you be open to talking now? Yeah, they should have explained themselves, right? Um, tell me more. Tell me more about what this person wants to tell my collective, please, Spirit. I wasn't planning on having anything serious when we met, but I can't deny I'm falling for you. There you go. They were, they were playing games. They never thought this was anything more than passion, um, but they fell for you. And I just heard I look for you everywhere. I don't know why. Let's see. One last message for the collective, please. If you guys are enjoying this, please hit like if you haven't already and subscribe. And please leave a comment. Let me know if this resonates. Let me know your story. Or just say hi. I love to interact with you guys. Okay, what's this person? Last message from this person, spirit. Last message. You are so beautiful inside out. That just kind of fell out. Last message for the collective. Last message here, please, Spirit. Please be patient because I'm afraid of commitment. Said that in the very, very beginning. Yeah, they've got to work on the spirit commitment, but they know that they can't lose you again. And in order to have you collected, they have to fully commit. So there's a lot of healing that this person still needs to do. So help them with that if you want this person, okay? I feel empty without you. They feel empty and lost without you. All right, sugars, I hope you found this helpful. I love you so stinking much, and I will see you again soon. 